Hello, Mikhail here, and we're doing another of these. Um, yeah, I fig figured I would uh, take a brief break from my other longer, more edited videos and do some more GBO2 stuff. I mean, really, what happened is that I had some good rounds, and I'm gonna do some uploads of them, because why the hell not? So anyway, you can see I'm in the cap pool here. Um, always one of my favorite uh, suits. Um, it's got melee punch on par with the Mark II, and fr frankly combines it with a kit that's much more suited to how I like to play. I see the Gan heading over here and know the R Charger was tapping, so I come over to back him up. Uh, but I think he's got it, and I see someone else coming to help, so I turn my attention down here. Don't make the best landing. Quickly skate around here. Maneuver armor through the beam rifle. Try and get this guy with the uh, missiles, but have to back off. Come up to shoot this guy in the back. Um, poorly. At around this... Alright, not... Okay, yeah, I see the Bolin Oak Saman climbing up the stairs back there. So I go to... Head back here and stop him. Give a call out. I see him getting staggered, so I go for the uh, big gun. Annoyingly, that other guy manages to stop just short of it, but I do a lot of damage to the Bull and Oak Saman in the process. Then I come down here and try and go for the claws, but yeah. I really love the sonic boom on the cap wool. It's it's a tactical weapon, and I appreciate it for being that on a suit that otherwise is mostly a melee rushdown suit, albeit a very good one. Um, yeah, you have to be you have to be a little careful about where you use it, but it can really ruin someone. Like I recognize that Gan's only going to charge, so I drop, charge it, fuck him up, and then double team with the Mark II to finish him off. So at this point, I decide I'm mostly going to just try and hold this position to keep them from rushing up and helping their friend. I do, do rush the Mark II here. I whiff, and the full armor Type B um, gets, gets me with the heavy missile. I try and go for the sonic boom foolishly, and I get hit around that corner by the full armor. But, um, don't worry about that. This is going to be the only time you see this, uh, respawn screen. So I drop back in in the same area, and decide to go around here with everyone to try and flank. This is a very difficult position to be in, just just because of how crowded it is up there. I try and get in some missile shots and some claw swipes. Unfortunately, I get staggered before I can do too much to the GAN. Back off again, um, especially because I see that everyone's dropped off. Wound up getting uh, chain staggered by my teammate there, but I don't really care that much. Uh, I was in I was in a bad position there. Whatever. I head around to uh, flank and hit him with my claws. I drop back to try and force him to choose. He wisely backs off. I instead head this way to flank. Assume with the uh, missiles. Do get a stagger accumulation. See this guy coming after the R Jarja, but only g gets clawed up. Meanwhile, the Mark II on my team was kind of an idiot and just rushed right into my claws. So, I have no. I have no regret, uh, great regrets about um, meleeing him. Get the assist there. Decide to grab this point and repair a bit while I'm at it because, hey, I'm right here. Mm. I want my team to to stay close because there's only three of us. We don't want to get reckless. I see, see the Bolin Oak Saman and go in for the kill. And finish him with the uh, rockets as I 
boost away. I, I'm kind of annoyed that I got that kill just a split second before I aced, but oh well. So yeah, th this is an awkward situation because they have a support ace and Supports always make some of the most effective aces just because they're in minimum da danger and tend to be in a very good spot to grab kills. The the Drago grabs the kill, but he apologizes for it so I don't chew him out. I see, I see the full armor get knocked down, so I smash him up with the uh, with the beam, the sonic boom rather. We spend a lot of uh, time fighting from the ground in these corners, which is really not a good position to be in. I'm honestly surprised it went as well as it did, and it's probably down to the fact that they have two uh, two uh, two raids, each of which is kind of eh. Gan goes in for the stab. It's the comfort that gets the uh, kill annoyingly. I, I I I was considering saying something, but we're so far ahead; it doesn't matter too much. I set up here. Unfortunately, it turns out this rock pile is one one of the things that will block my sonic boom, so I don't get the bull and Oaksamon with it. So I'm just sort of playing fairly cautious here. I'm just waiting for an opportunity because I am the ace. I know that if I get reckless, I will pay for it. I I end up friendly firing him because he just, he keeps rushing into my my swings. Just uh, being cautious, I try and go for the charge, um, get punished for it. So I reposition over here, decide to go for the same thing, get the uh, Gian with it. Gun down the Gan with the beam gun. See this guy guy here. And the annoy knowingly the Dragu ends up stealing it, but it's such a clusterfuck that I don't really bla uh, blame him for it. We end up friendly firing him here, but it's annoying because it ends up feeding the enemy ace a kill, but I pick up a kill in turn, so it go goes alright. Then th things are dicey. Um, we have a 10,000 point lead, so we're probably not losing. I weigh my options, and I decide I'm just gonna run. So I just book it this way, just in case someone gets a shot on me. And that's the end of the match. It was a pretty good one, unsurprising, because I took out the Capool, and I love this thing. So yeah, mission complete, and I believe I did around 100,000 damage this mission. Yeah, 100,000 and 102,000 damage and 7,700 points. So yeah, I wound up going uh, eight and one. Anyway, that's it for this video. I will see you on the battlefield.